You're not it's looking. Not, it's sexual husband, you know? Oh, stop. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. You're joking. No, I'm serious. A previous female player has accused Hustler Casino Live's co-owner Nick Vertucci of, quote, using his control over HCL to harass women and keep witnesses from speaking up. As we will come to see, this story possibly goes far beyond just flirting through text, as it is alleged that a former dealer named Lauren was fired and lost her job for reporting Nick for a more serious action. Lots of the poker community has been fast to respond, with Garrett Adelstein leading the way in and even a well-known pro describing an incident where Nick once showed her images of his penis at the poker table to which she would describe as a, quote, pencil dick. You truly cannot make this stuff up. Let's get into it as the accuser, Julia, starts off with, quote, it's time to break the silence. The Twitter post coming with receipts in the form of past text message screenshots between Nick and Julia. Quote, poker world, please share your stories with hashtag Ick Vertucci. Let's stop the harassment. If you've ever watched those predator catching videos, that's kind of how I feel reading this. But let's do it. Nick starting us off with, are you playing tonight? Julia saying, yes, I will see you there. It's funny she's basically trying to end the conversation before it even starts. <laughs> Nick says, you are bringing the cleavage, huh? LOL, you have the best orange emoji, orange emoji ever respectfully, of course. You still have that damn boyfriend? Julia says, thank you, but I already know that, lol, and yes, I do still have that boyfriend. Nick says, well, it doesn't hurt to hear, I am sure. They destroy me, and that stinks. So it stinks she has a boyfriend, and it doesn't hurt to hear that she's got nice cleavage. He says, we could have so much fun. Okay, well, I'll see you there now. I have to find a way to focus. Can I get a pregame preview so I could work it out of my system? Yeah, so if you're wondering if that means what you think it means, you'd be correct. Julia says, um, no. And Nick replies with, okay, for the record, I did mean with a shirt on, lol. And I'll stop. Sorry my T levels go up when I see you. Sounds like Nick here gets his testosterone levels checked too often. He ends it with, but I'll stop, don't feel weird, I just like you is all, see you there. Yeah, you know, don't, don't feel weird. Look, having bad text game is one thing, right? But to be in the position Nick is in, where he controls whether or not Julia herself plays in the poker game, this is a real problem. But it's all good, because he quote, didn't want to offend. The first comment we see that nearly ratios Julia is from our man Garrett Adelstein saying, color me shocked. Hopefully he won't dedicate years of his life in a weak attempt at discrediting you as well. It's about damn time people stop protecting HCL and Vertucci in particular out of financial self-interest. These other comments are amazing. We got Ryan DePaulo saying, quote, work it out of my system. This is definitely not the thing to focus on, but the goddamn orange emoji. Can I get a pregame preview? Luke saying, you bringing that cleavage with you? Nah, I'm leaving it at home tonight. At Doug Polk, can you do a to catch a cards predator vlog? Sorry, my my T levels go up is a rock solid excuse that I will start using. Julia's next tweet said this evening, Nick has been trying to get the address where I play home games and dig up dirt on me saying his actions are my fault because of how I dress at HCL. Is this a showrunner you want to be associated with? Wow. I mean, if true, it's pretty crazy. Julia following that up with quote, I'm a middle aged lawyer who shows cleavage and wears fake eyelashes to play poker on stream. Most men can control their T levels around my oranges. Potentially pressuring or harassing women like Nick did to Julia becomes a small detail when she says this. Have you noticed Lauren isn't dealing on HCL anymore? She reported to the casino far worse harassment than the creepy text I posted. Every witness refused to come forward. The casino sided with Vertucci and now Lauren has lost her job. Gary Adelstein saying, heartbreaking to hear Lauren wasn't just one of my favorite dealers. She was one of the best people I knew in poker. I hope the truth comes out and quickly. Often it only takes a couple brave women to share their stories before others feel safe to do the same. So after this, a well-known female poker pro named Kitty Ko responded to a tweet she was tagged in saying, well, it was a true story. Before COVID-19, I played live at the bike many many times and this guy was totally right when nick showed me his dick pics at poker table live stream 
I was very strong and said, you had a pencil tick. And he was so mad. I don't give a shit if I can't play at HCL, but it did happen to me. Arden Cho was another female player that played with Nick saying, yeah, that was the last time I played a stream with him. When referencing this clip. You know, this is half starts with you pulling your pants down, right? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Who wants to check me? Arden, you want to go check me in the bathroom? I'll strip oh, down, make sure there's no light for the woman. What? I'll slip the Zeno against you. Come on, dude. She's the one who really, you know, well, no, actually, no. Nikos. Nikos, you can take me in there. Let's go. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to check me? Arden, you want to go check me in the bathroom? I'll strip oh, down, make sure there's no light for the woman. And the stories continue as a past HCL player named Ash Kardash shares the time she met Nick and he tried to kiss her. I wasn't going to speak on it because when I first like came into the poker world, like I didn't have a platform and like I knew that he could pull the rug from underneath me, like at least playing at Hustler. And then there's like kind of a reason why I never went back. It's crazy to see that more people are coming out about it now. We were in Vegas. He came out to Vegas um, and all of like the um, Hustler people went out one night we ubered there and on the way there he tried to kiss me and i was like that's not happening like i don't know oh no when my friendship like got like misconstrued for something else but that's like it like no in an unexpected turn of events an hcl player a big one named Nick Hairball actually came forward with this statement, saying he's been a longtime supporter of HCL and good friend Ryan. No players have chosen to speak out at this time out of fear of losing seats or being banned, but I personally feel this must be publicly addressed. I am appalled by the behavior of Nick Bertucci and deeply troubled by the additional allegations that continue to come out. His gross misconduct towards Julia, Lauren, and other women is inexcusable. Ryan has poured everything into building HCL into what it is today. He has always conducted himself and his business with the utmost integrity. Ryan has strived to create a fun and safe space for players, staff, and fans to enjoy poker, which is why Nick's actions are so disappointing. I firmly believe Nick needs to step away from HCL. Until that time comes i can no longer support the show in any way i've advised my friends on staff to speak truthfully to hr and do the right thing anyone who loses their job to speaking out can come to me and i will sort them out with a new job maybe investment banking <laughs> I trust Ryan and Hustler Casino will do the right thing and stand in support of the victims, not the perpetrator. Well, damn, there you go. Who saw this guy coming out in support of these allegations? I surely didn't. And you know one guy who doesn't even believe this? Garrett Adelstein, who says nicely said Ryan, acting as if this was totally written by Ryan. And Nick Airball says, this was written by me with the help of my wife. Ryan explicitly asked me not to post anything. And I told him that was not an option. You seem happy. I hope you are enjoying retirement. I mean, look, maybe Airball is just trying to clean up his image and, you know, he has a wife himself. Maybe he just wants everything to come to light. But we've got Matt Berkey also chiming in saying this is PR likely written by Ryan. Quick to follow suit with a statement with Veronica Chin Feldman himself and possibly for Tucci if his lawyers let him. Then the pile on will ensue with Tuckman, DGAF, and others coming out of the woodwork, disavowing Vertucci and his actions. It's all self-serving hot air, where prior to the public catching wind that Nick is a scumbag, this whole group turned a blind eye to glaze him publicly every chance they got. Not long after Airball made his statement, Doug Polk said on the recent Nick Vertucci story, using a place of power to make unwanted sexual advances on women is horrific. This isn't just being a creepy dude. Anything less than removing him from the show entirely is completely unacceptable. Nick Vertucci's Twitter account has disappeared, and with minute-to-minute -minute updates, Hustler Casino Live now has put out a statement. Effective immediately, Nick Vertucci will no longer be involved with high-stakes poker productions. We look forward to continuing to deliver the best high-stakes poker content to the community. Well, there it is, guys. Do we think this is over just like that? Similar to the Jack 4 offhand, I'm gonna guess not. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Warning, if you're faint of heart or easily offended. So stupid. All right, well, that's it. This is the Nick Fertucci show. I am Nick Fertucci. And be out. <laughs>